Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 47. So we were still in designs over the last couple of days, and we're gonna do a little bit more in designs today as I show you how to create a neighborhood video. So a video with market analysis and content that you can share on social media, you can put into a Facebook ad, etc. So in order to access that video, we're gonna go inside of designs. Again, our little paintbrush icon here. And when we get into designs, we're going to create a new design again by clicking on the big blue button in the top right hand corner. And this time we're gonna select video and then choose next. And when we do, it's first gonna ask us to select a neighborhood. Now this is going to be from the list of next door neighborhoods. So if you already know your next door neighborhood, you can just type it in or the one you're wanting to create a video for. And once you find that neighborhood, you can select it. Once you have selected the neighborhood and click on next, that's gonna open the neighborhood information form where you can then go in and check the data that it is providing. Now this data is being pulled from the MLS through our uh, relationship with Smarter Agent. However, you can see that every single one of these boxes is editable. So if you're doing your own CMA and you feel like the average home price based upon your analysis might be a little bit different, you can change what the average home price is. You can, average, you can also change whether you feel like the prices are on the rise, on the decline or holding steady based upon your analysis. Again, the same thing for price per square foot and number of homes for sale and average days on market. Um, so in this example, I think that this is probably a little bit off. Um, I'm not sure how the home price is on the rise, but the price per square foot is holding steady. So I'm actually going to change that to on the rise as well. You've also got neighborhood features and there's a list of these to choose from. So you can kind of go through and check those out and find out. This is actually a rather new neighborhood. So I'm gonna remove historic. Um, and then you can kind of go through and see the different ones that are available. Now we have a lot of walking trails here in the neighborhood. We've got multiple lakes. So I'm gonna choose outdoorsy as that third neighborhood feature. Once you've got all of this data written in and kind of uh, confirmed, you can move on to agent information. Earlier, I asked you to choose your next door neighborhood. And some of you may have said, well, we don't have next door neighborhoods where I am. In that case, guys, just choose any neighborhood because you can then come in and change what this name of this video is about. So this could be Falls at Green Meadows. This could be a zip code. This could be a, uh, an entire city if you wanted to, right? You can choose what the name is for this neighborhood and then what the data is, in, is included. So if you don't have next door neighborhoods in your area, just pick any one and then go in and make the edits that you need to make. Next, you'll see agent information. This is being pulled from your marketing profile. So make sure you have all of this information. For some reason, my phone number isn't being pulled. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. And then you have your market center and brokerage information also being pulled in from your marketing profile. So just make sure that all of this is correct as well. And then once I click on next, you'll see that it's gonna just take a little bit of time, but it's going to go ahead and create a neighborhood snapshot video. It's only about a minute long. It's got a little jingle to it and it'll present all of those stats that we just put into the editor. So you can see we've got the alert that the video has been created successfully. I'll just start off the video, play a little bit of it here for you. So it pulls in the name of the neighborhood that you created, the date that you created it, and then you can see it starts to put in the stats of what you put in, right? So whatever that price per square foot, whatever the average price, uh, home sale price, how many homes are available and what the average days on market is. And then it's gonna show you the three criteria that you chose about the neighborhood in just a second. And they've got little icons, right? So you can kind of see those. Here's athleisure wear, vehicle enthusiast and outdoorsy. And then it kind of talks about your information. It regurgitates, if you will, restates the information that you put in, promotes your app, and then puts up your branding information. So just kind of realize where it says real estate consultant in the selection process, that's where this will show up. 
and then you can kind of decide how that looks from there. So once we click on save, now we're back into our designs template and for some reason it doesn't show up inside of all types, uh, but if you do go into video, then you're gonna find here's that video that we just created. And if you click on the three dots, you have the ability to download the video as an MP4. And so that way you could upload that to, you know, a different Facebook group or your YouTube channel, whatever you're looking to do. You can also click on use in campaigns and that would pull up the ability to actually put it inside of a Facebook campaign or something along those lines. And then you can finally do share on social and that'll connect you to the social side of things. And here you go, here's your video already loaded. You would write a text, check out my latest market update about the falls on Green Meadows. Did you know home prices are on the rise? Watch this short video for more information. Anything along those lines, right? And then you can schedule that post to go out on your Facebook business page, Twitter, or both. So that's pretty it, pretty much it for today, how to create a social design that is a neighborhood market uh, update video that you can then post, run ads, or download for future use. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day, and as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.